Mario Draghi's push for more European UK and City of London exposed. Mario Draghi pushed for a more European UK while visiting the City of London before Brexit. The former president of the European Central Bank, Mario Draghi, has been sworn in as Italy's next prime minister. Mr Draghi, a prominent economist, accepted the top role on February 12 and later that day read out a list of ministerial picks designed to create consensus among political parties. Italy's government crisis was triggered in January when former Prime Minister Matteo Renzi's Italia Viva party withdrew its support from the coalition, amid a row over how to spend the euro's 200 billion, 174.5 billion pounds dash plus that Rome is poised to receive from the EU's Corin Avarice Recovery Fund. The expectations that Mr Draghi will be able to reverse Italy's fortunes are as high as the stakes. Among his first major tasks will be to accelerate a vaccination program, as Italy strives to emerge from the coronavirus pandemic, which has so far left 93,000 people dead. At the same time, he will be expected to rescue the economy from its worst recession since World War II. If he prevails, Mr Draghi is likely to bolster the entire Eurozone, which has long fretted over Italy's perennial problems. As EU leaders all watch the next steps of the former president of the European Central Bank, ECB, a throwback speech with Mr Draghi has resurfaced, which sheds light on his relationship with Britain. In 2013, Mr Draghi tackled the political debate surrounding Britain's EU membership, telling a City of London audience that Europe needed a more European UK. Speaking at the City of London Corporation, he said, I cannot say which of the two sets of arguments is stronger, the economic or the political ones, neither am I going to enter into a domestic policy debate, but what I can say is that Europe needs a more European UK as much as the UK needs a more British Europe. His comments were seen in some conservative circles as an attempt to influence the fierce debate over the UK's stance towards Europe. The Italian central banker, credited with spearheading a pledge to buy bonds in 2012 that eased financial market fears of a Eurozone breakup, went on to list the many deep financial and economic ties between the Eurozone and the UK. He said, With such deep interconnections, the UK and the Euro area share a common interest. The stability in the functioning of our economic system and particularly our financial markets. Mr Draghi noted that 40% of deposits in Eurozone banks from outside the currency union came from the UK, that 40% of Eurozone bank loans outside the bloc went to UK borrowers, and that 40% was also roughly the share of the euro in all foreign currency denominated loans, as well as deposits in the UK. Mr Draghi stopped short of making an explicit call for the UK to remain engaged in the EU, but went on to outline the crisis-fighting measures, such as the creation of a so-called banking union that would entail some transfer of national sovereignty in budgets and structural policies for Eurozone members. He added, The answer to the crisis has not been less Europe but more Europe. Mr Draghi's presence in London came amid tensions with the Treasury over what former Chancellor George Osborne believed was an attempt by the ECB to drag some Euro-dominated trade away from the city into the Eurozone.